You like elk poo? Day two, we hiked up. Again. This time we went up a way sketchier way. <laughs> Straight up this hill. Look at those clouds right now. Wow. Okay, we're gnarly. He's like, don't take a fucking video of me. Uh, probably because of the power. Hey, that can... Oh boy. Slugna! Uh -huh. Do you want a treat? <laughs> get a treat. Yeah, because you're such a good boy. You get treats when you're a good boy, right? <laughs> okay, we found a boat on our property. It's got the light. The navigation light. <laughs> Whole outboard and everything. I think the transom's a little rotten. <laughs> <laughs> it's like literally like wow. Like that it looks like a usable starter on there. <laughs> Surprisingly. The head's off of it. Yeah, so whoever opened oh, this bad boy. Pretty right. Bad old dead boy. Wow. wow. Here's the flowing water. Oh, so cool. This is so exciting. But there's also this cute trap of a hole here. This is our, where our like spring water is coming from or something. Or creek. But it's grown. It's uh, full of life. And it's going to be cool when we figure out what to do with it. Flat left of a pro, 100, flat right maybe. 70, flat left. 70, absolute right. 150, unseen, easy right. 50, easy left. 50 grid, 100, oh dear God.
day after the accident. We are in a massive U-Haul. That's all they had because they're trying to get the car out of the tow yard. The tow yard was beside, literally beside where the crash happened. And guess how much they charged us for this tow? $600. They're charging us $600 to get our car out of there. We had insurance. And we were not at fault. We'll go into that after, but let's just go get our car first. Alright, so speed limit says 50. Reduce to 50. And this is where we crashed. Right next to the fire hall, which is kind of nice. <laughs> but yeah, there was semi trucks ripping past us while the accident was done and it's kind of crazy that they did that. So the kid came from here, we were there, boom. And where the hell are skid marks? Not even there. That's wild. Okay, this is my, this is my first thing to be pissed about. Tyler asked him to put the car out. It's not in the lot, it's just pushed out now. And uh, they want to charge us $600. And the other person, it was like 300 bucks. This was literally across the street. That shit pisses us off. Um, I think we should just pick it up and go. Right, Not even in their freaking lot. Maybe, maybe let's <laughs> so Tyler and I just got the car from the tow yard that they left outside off of their property. And... Uh, loaded it up right away and the guy was just fuming mad ready for us to pretty much leave with the car like he basically f because it was off his property and well, the bill wasn't paid right so he was scared but we were like yo why is the bill five hundred dollars for a six hundred six hundred dollars sorry for a 0.5 kilometer distance literally across the fucking street and he stuck us with the cleaning thing and all that shit. Like, everything was on us. So Tyler had it out with the owner of this place. And the guy's like six foot five, 300 pounds or something like that. Tyler's much smaller for sure. And they just had it out for a while. I even had it out because I was trying to calm him down. So I got it right up in there. Yeah, anyways. They, uh, they worked it out. He ended up lowering it down and stuff. The guy's very nice. I will recommend the, the tow shop. And, um, but I would recommend just having a lot of cash on you if that happens to you. No credit card. No credit card. Only cash. Which is, you know. <laughs> you're okay. So. Be scared. No seatbelt. Okay, so basically today is the day that our excavator arrives. Uh, yeah. So our excavator arrives, it was supposed to come yesterday on my birthday, but it didn't because they had axle problems, drop down axle problems. Anyway, so it's coming today and it's uh, two o'clock now. We've been awake since like 7 a.m. So it's only been a few hours, few hours since the accident, technically. Um, yeah, so we have to now go to our property, the road of our property, because there's no driveway or anything. There's no way to get to our property, really. And um, yeah, we have to wait for the truck to come. And they're expecting about 6.30, 7 o'clock. So we're going to sit in the U-Haul the whole time. And, uh, wait. We don't have a hotel yet. Our phones don't work. We're in pain. You should see my tatas. The bruising. <laughs> my whole, my whole hip, everything, they're all bruised. My, my belly, everything's all bruised. My back, my neck. I'm in a considerable amount of pain. 
have a very high pain tolerance. But the, uh, what is that? Okay, I thought that was the car again. The batteries, the, when you connect the battery, the car goes off the horn. So, yeah. Anyways, let's just talk in a few more hours. <laughs> Back at our property. <laughs> we'll inspect everything, okay? <laughs> well, with how well it uh, just when you when you bump started it all the way onto the trailer, like that was a good sign, honestly. Yeah, it was rolling fine. Mm -hmm. Fuck the drive thing, right? Yeah. I, I wonder how well they lifted it, because they obviously lifted it well, or something. I asked him, he's like, he's like, yeah, I saw it all the drive, so we didn't put the force in it. Oh. He, I, he was like, he's like, yeah, forty dollars a load onto your trailer. I was like, are you gonna fuck it when you do it at the same time? <laughs> I heard you say that. I know. He's like, no, 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 no. He's like, we can put it back on the truck. <laughs> <laughs> this one says Mississippi. I saw that. Yeah. So Huh? No, it almost could have though. Honestly, it was close. Yeah. So this is this is our current status. The headlights, except for that's that's corner marker, that's cool. The headlights literally exploded. Like, they're gone. Like, that's probably the best headlight there. Look at all that hidden damage. Just twisted. Just freaking twisted there, bud. Like those wires. Is that the horn? What are those wires? I don't know. Is that the horn or something? No, to tie the hood down. Oh, and here's our home. Make the best of any situation, kids. <laughs> Sleep in the U-Haul. Sleep in the U-Haul. With hay. Lugnut's gonna love it. There's hay in here? Damn. Just coolant hay? This stuff looks okay. Does it? It does. Oh. Like the whole drive train is intact. Hey, Jason. The black shirt. Oh. Maybe that's cool. Yeah, it's cool. It's okay with that. It's just cardboard. Maybe it's okay. that's diesel. Seems like some diesel we can have. Oh. Yeah. Like the strut tower isn't pushed back or anything. No. No. I think it's probably just the inertia switch that shut it off. Yeah, it'll be like a switch for when you get in an accident to okay. shut the fuel off. We in the U-Haul. Got some black bear cucumber drink that Tyler brought, which is good. What else we got? Some awesome roasted salted sunflower seeds. Chocolate covered espresso beans. Some more nuts. Nuts are good for you guys. Just remember, nuts are really good for you. And then we got some leftover that we did not eat all of at all after our accident. So we got some pizza bag of ice that the hotel gave us because they felt bad for us. He's pretty cute. He's really sweet. 
Just chilling on the side of the highway in front of our property. <laughs> Looking at the sad, sad demise. That's gonna feel so much better. <laughs> How did that even Look at that! It's they like they said, you if you hit on your side and then all the damage ricocheted to the the left side, which is really interesting. But that I'm so glad that that one like sort of survived. Oh wow, that was the way they made this got like a little circuit board in between. Oh wow. That's so interesting. Two birds. Wow. What's the, what's the hose for? Did you drain it? What? What's that hose in there for? Is that for like yeah, draining? Yeah, little drainage. I don't see any headlights like that. They still get full of water. Is that just because the tube gets plugged up? And people don't know? Like, they're all different. They're all different. I think that's pretty cool. Yeah, this other piece of the headlight that's jammed in there against everything is like, it's in there. I tried to kind of like shuffle it out, but... <laughs> yeah, here's the light bulb. Definitely stole the cat out of here. It's okay, you sit. Good boy. My phone's focusing on your crotch. That's so weird. <laughs> is it is it huge? <laughs> Really gonna stop right there? Go, I wanna see it. Duh.